Hello everyone, this is Zibo and welcome to today's AFK journey video. So in today's AFK journey video, I'm going to introduce the top five cheap tech units that you guys can use in seasonal dream round in order to boost your damage. So these cheap tech units are units which are really good for dream round, even at really low investments due to the change of their kit, due to the change in the meta teams, the change in mechanics, or even the introduction of their seasonal skills. So without further ado, I'm going to use my Z-Boss account as a benchmark because this account has the most epic tier unit which is one of the lowest tier unit so that you guys can sort of catch a reference point right i'll use this account as a benchmark and i'll use a super low tier units to show you guys that these units even at a really low tier works pretty well as well i'll also explain the reason why as i showcase the damage the benchmark with the same artifact so i don't have a lot of artifact on this account i'll just be using light heal spell and then i will be changing out the units to change out the damage output as well as the potential team combos with the top five cheap tech units okay so i'll start with a benchmark for this account first so this is the damage run or the best damage comp i have right now based on the units i use so we'll use this i'll say like uh, damage as the benchmark as to showcase to you guys how the other cheaper tech units can be used in the different teams to increase your damage or to keep your damage at the same pace even if you don't have that invested so initially this list was meant to be a top six unit because the six unit is actually torrent but i think torrent needs no introduction by now because this unit is just so good all around being an amazing tank being an amazing debuffer being an amazing damage dealer so i decided to exclude him from today's list so torrent was supposed to be the six unit but uh, because he's already so good, people probably know about it. I'm going to skip him for today's video, okay? So today's five units will be probably the most underrated units that you guys won't think of when you think of Dream Round in the previous patch. So with this uh, two times speed run almost over, this will be the benchmark that we are basing our damage around, which is around 208 million damage. Okay, pretty good damage over here. So this is the damage distribution. Okay, so with that benchmark out of the way, right, I'm going to start with the very first chip tech unit, and that is none other than Lucius. So for Lucius case, right, the reason why this unit is good as a chip tech unit is because this unit is innately tanky. So this unit can survive a little bit, even if it's at a really low rank. So this unit has some form of shielding, has some form of... Uh, healing as well as the ability to buff up the offensive prowess of your whole team so this comes from the later seasonal skill heart of unity which increases haste as well as damage output of your team if our allies are able to survive for a pretty long duration so usually at a really low tier lucius doesn't survive for that long but surviving 10 seconds into battle is actually really achievable, which I'll showcase later. So just off that 8 haste buff or even that 10 haste buff that he can provide, he will already increase your team's damage output tremendously at a super low tier. So if you're able to survive 40 seconds into the battle, that will be a massive boost up to your damage. Even if you don't have him at Supreme Plus tier or even like Mythic Plus tier for the EX weapon. Right. obviously the higher tier this unit is the longer and higher chance he will survive but he functions pretty well even at just legend tier so over here i'll showcase this i have to change out my team setup a little bit because i want to benefit from the five factional bonus so over here i'm going to use rainer in the place of coco and without further ado wait let me just uh, do this and link this up without further ado let's start the showcase okay so over here i'm going to send in lucius because i want him to be able to to last for as long as possible because lucius has some sort of heal and shield and him being able to get the heal from all the healing from rainer is going to keep him alive so 10 seconds is down and we really got the perma haze buff as you guys can see over here so right now we have the chance to use our skill and he is going to use his shield to keep the front line healthy okay so we are going to get the seasonal skill on top of him really, really soon because it's nearly 40 seconds into battle and we should be getting the damage buff. And as you guys can see, with Lucius being alive for so long, my damage is actually keeping pace with my optimal team setup. It is super duper insane because uh, this unit is only Legend Plus. Can you imagine this unit at a really high tier with the ability to provide more shield for my team? My damage output could be way higher. 
So this is the number one chip tech unit that you guys can use, okay? So the second chip tech unit that you guys can opt for is none other than Leica. So for Leica's case, right, this unit was, I'll say, decently useful, even at the original storyline. But the thing about this unit was something is lacking, right? Even though he she has a attack speed buff with the ability to grant all allies initial energy to kickstart their ultimates and also the ability to reduce physical defense, it just felt lacking because her faction is quite weak in Dream Realm. I think there's not a lot of good Wilders unit and this unit, I think, doesn't deliver that much damage even at a high investment. But right now, she makes for a really good chip tech unit because on top of the defense debuff, on top of the attack speed boost, this unit also gains the seasonal skill which increases damage on the target. So this skill is insanely powerful. And if you're able to let her stick around for as long as possible, the damage taken on the target will increase tremendously. So this unit is very, very cheap. However, I think one issue with Leica is obviously, like I mentioned earlier, the fractional bonus. So over here for my lineup, I think it's really hard for me to play around that. I'll just showcase... Um, I'll say uh, Leica without any faction buff, unfortunately, just to showcase her prowess over here. Maybe I'll keep her behind, but I might want to keep Coco in front so that Coco will be able to keep my team healthy because uh, Torrent and Leica has the same seasonal skill. So I don't think the same seasonal skill stacks two times. So I'm just going to throw away Torrent for this run and use Leica for this showcase. Okay, so let's showcase this. So since I don't have a good frontliner here, I'm expecting my frontline to fall really easily and maybe my damage output might not be that good. But we shall see. Maybe it might be better because there's no more frontline to take the snow breath attack. Okay, so Laika's doing pretty well because she's taking her hits onto the boss to keep the debuff really consistent on the boss. Okay, as you guys can see, the first ultimate is up, physical defense down with all the damage reduction. So over here, right, I think one thing could be that could be optimized is using more physical defense uh, units. I mean, more units that benefit from the physical defense down. Um, namely, I'll say using a more physical team. But uh, I think it's doing good in terms of the benchmarking. So this damage is way less than the 200 million that we set. But this is on the fact that I didn't have a good frontliner. So Leica is obviously a unit that you guys can use as a chip tech option. However, you might need to actually build in with some wilders or build her with maybe like another four unit fractional bonus to try to capitalize on the fractional bonuses side of things. Okay, so that's for Leica, chip tech number two. Okay, the third chip tech unit is probably something that I think nobody would have thought of, but it's actually an insanely powerful unit because of the rise of OD, and this unit is none other than Satrana. So Satrana has two major buffs to her. Number one, Molar as a faction just got pushed up crazy amounts, right, in terms of feasibility in Dream Realm because of OD being the mega carry in this game mode. So over here, right, I'm going to put Satrana here and you guys can see we already have a four fractional bonus. So this makes team building a lot more flexible. And number two, this unit actually offers quite a decent buff from the Ignite skill, which allows you to do additional damage. However, this skill scales with her stats. Obviously, if you have her at a really low tier, she's not going to be as effective. But the most important part that drove her to really good or rather a good chip tech unit is her seasonal skill. Because her seasonal skill is the only one that increases magical damage taken by adjacent enemies. And guess what? One of the strongest magical damage dream realm attacker is none other than OD. So you guys see the cycle here. Her existence in the team not only fits the factional bonus, but provides an insane boost for our dear OD over here. So I want to protect her so that she stays alive for as long as possible. And that's where she will be able to stick her seasonal skills onto the boss so that OD can jam in more damage. So without further ado, let's start the third benchmark run. Okay, so we're going to send her in. One thing that's really, really good about Satrana is that she gets a damage reduction hero focus if you can actually get her to the Legend Plus tier. 
on top of that right her ultimate actually caused her to be invulnerable which allows her to stick on the boss for a much longer period of time right it is very very good as you guys will see later on so when she uses her ultimate even if the boss does throw the snow breath at her she doesn't take damage so she's actually a pretty good frontliner unit if you're able to protect her with sufficient heal as well as the existing meta so over here unfortunately she died but she has already done her job in terms of increasing the damage output of od and as you guys can see my damage output is still going pretty high right it's obviously not the 200 million range but it is close enough for a unit that's only at epic plus for a unit that doesn't have a lot of stats and for a unit that didn't get the third skill which is a damage boost in with the low tier investment satrana definitely did her job over there to provide more boost for od so satrana is the cheap tech unit number three so i wanted to talk about the fourth and fifth unit but uh i kind of forget that this account didn't have one of them but the fourth and fifth unit they serve very very similar role and they are none other than Brutus and Termasia. So for Termasia's case, my Termasia on this account is slightly higher tier. But the reason why both Brutus and Termasia are good chip tech units because they are pretty tanky, right? And their seasonal skill is the physical version of Satrana. As long as they're able to stick onto the front line for as long as possible, they are able to increase your physical damage output. So you're going to be able to increase your overall damage output if you're running a physical team and you just so have a really low tier to measure or Brutus. And as long as you're able to keep them alive on the front line for their seasonal skill to benefit your team as much as possible, you will be able to see the effect. So over here, right, let me think how I want to build my team. I think I will just go with OD because I already have three physical attacker in the form of Termasia, Torren, and Merrily. So I think her buff is already quite maximized. And on top of that, right, because my Termasia is at a pretty high rank, I won't link her to Torren. But if let's say your Termasia is of the legendary tier, a really low tier, and you don't have investment on her, you just want to link her to Torren to protect her. Okay, so without further ado, let's start this run. Okay. So basically, the fourth and fifth unit, they are Brutus and Termasia. But unfortunately, I don't have Brutus on this account. So I'll have to log into another account to showcase to you guys how Brutus does the same thing as Termasia. However, I think for Brutus' case, it will be slightly more challenging because of how the Maulers are built currently as a lot of the good Mauler units, they are more magic-based. Or a lot of people are building Mauler teams around OD. So physical buffs on brutus doesn't synergize with od very well but if let's say you do have a really powerful set of physical units then you can definitely run brutus with them as well right because of the seasonal skill over here so as you guys can see i might be even breaking my own benchmark record okay but this is to be fair my termasia slightly higher rank so i broke my own record but let's say if my termasia is only at the very low tier i might still be able to break my record but slightly lower in terms of damage output so this has now become my new best team and as you guys can see over here so what termasia did was this unit boost the damage output of herself merrily before she gets her ex weapon up and torrent in the mix so Termasia as well as brutus are definitely some of the cheaper type options that you guys can use so with that right i'm just gonna conclude the video with a final showcase on brutus to let you guys see the effect of brutus or some of the teams you guys can run him with and uh, for this time around i'll just use a new benchmark number and then i will swap out uh brutus into the mix so this is my current best team setup on this account i'll just showcase it with some benchmarking Okay, we're going to use the this uh, new quick blitz spell over here so this is my current best team on this account so the purpose of this is just for benchmarking right it's not to show you guys best damage or anything so for brutus case similar to termasia uh brutus actually has the same physical attack uh increased skill but one thing that brutus have that termasia doesn't is that brutus actually has an invul so brutus on his own can actually survive for much longer right even if you only have him at a really low tier because when you combine his inbound with all the healers that you can place with him right he is actually a very very good unit even without torrent support like he can survive on his own in a lot of cases okay so over here this is the benchmarking right in terms of my team setup 
okay so 530 million damage okay so this is obviously not my peak damage but you guys can see it's really close so next up when we take a look at brutus kit right so over here we have a brutus so my brutus it is at a pretty low rank this unit has the same seasonal skill as to measure as you guys can see over here and on top of that this unit has the ability to reduce enemies physical defense down which is quite a bit 30 percent right at a really high level and also the ability to be immune to fatal blow with the unaffected ability for up to six seconds pretty pretty good unit even with low investment so even looking at this right this unit serves the same role as kruger so i'm gonna replace him with kruger and let him sit in the position that kruger was in and let's start the run itself okay so you guys can see the red aura that this unit has and over here he hasn't proc his inbound yet because rowan is able to heal him up because this unit is slightly tankier and as you guys can see right he doesn't really need a lot of investment to stand on the front line like he just need levels he just need equipments even at a really low tier once you have enough healing support you can keep him alive for as long as possible okay so over here coco uses the ultimate rowan uses the ultimate and obviously she's gonna die now right because this unit is not very very tanky at a really low investment but you guys can see my damage output is actually keeping up with pace with a kruger that has a ex weapon that is even more tankier than a brutus so now if your brutal is able to stick in at uh stick into the battle for a little bit longer right with the physical damage up on the boss for a little bit longer your damage can actually be higher than this so these are what i mean the uh, are the chip tech units basically these are units that doesn't require any form of investment in terms of their hero tiers because they just perform so well at a really low tier and they are not very stats reliant they have really really good skills in terms of the supportive element or the debuffing element for the team so that's why they have rose up in terms of the seasonal dream round and become some of the best top five chip tech units for dream round damage boosting purposes thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more afk journey videos on the channel i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys